From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do. Now. What ought one to say then as each hardship comes? I was practicing for this. I was training for this. Fortify yourself with moderation, for this is an impenetrable fortress. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. No great thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I will answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. Remain steadfast, and one day you will build something that endures, something worthy of your potential. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. You may fetter my leg, but Zeus himself cannot get the better of my free will. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. On the occasion of every accident that befalls you, remember to turn to yourself and inquire what power you have for turning it to use. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasures, but the foolish to be a slave to them. Caretake this moment, immerse yourself in its particulars, Respond to this person, this challenge, this deed. Quit evasions. Stop giving yourself needless trouble. It is time to really live. If you want to be a writer, write. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Be discriminating about what images and ideas you permit into your mind. No man is free who is not a master of himself. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you, but answer. He was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. It is impossible to begin to learn that which one thinks one already knows. Do not seek to have events happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do happen, and all will be well with you. Never depend on the admiration of others. There is no strength in it. Personal merit cannot be derived from an external source. 